Hi, my name is Jake McLaughlin, and I'm the director of Serve Ministries here at Flores. And I want to take a few minutes to speak with you about how this congregation and how United Methodists around the country can serve the people that are suffering because of Hurricane Sandy. One of the things you should know about me is that I did disaster recovery work through the United Methodist Church in New Orleans for four and a half years after Katrina. The care and the prayers and the support that you all will be sending to those in New Jersey and New York is very close to my heart. The United Methodist Committee on Relief, or UMCOR as it is often called, is on the ground surveying, assessing needs, and speaking to those people who most need help. So one of the things that often gets asked to me and to staff here is, how do I help? Well, one of the first ways that you can help is by praying for the people that are suffering. Right now, there may be people without power who maybe have lost their homes, and we need to pray to God for their safety, for their comfort, and for their recovery. One way that your congregation has already responded was through a special offering taken on November 4th. Once we have available numbers, we will be sure to share with you how much money will be going to UMCOR to serve people in New Jersey and New York. Another way that you can help is by providing a flood bucket. On November 25th and the subsequent week, we are going to collect flood buckets that will be sent to areas of need in New Jersey and New York. Information about how to make a flood bucket, or a cleaning bucket as they're often called, will be available on our website and through our bulletin. So there are multiple ways for you to be actively engaged in the work of bringing hope and restoration to the people of New York and New Jersey. And I do hope that you will support your congregation and United Methodists around the country in bringing that, those communities back. Thank you.